the last short, we configured our smart switch and finally made our villains work. But if you are staring at those options, tagged, untagged and not member and wondering what they actually do, you are not alone and that's precisely what we will talk about in this short. So, here's the thing, every part on your switch decides how it handles VLAN traffic and those words, tagged, untagged and not member, tell it exactly what to do. So, when a part is untagged, the switch hides the VLAN label before sending traffic out. That's what you use for devices that don't understand VLANs, like your PC, smart TV or IoT devices. So they just expect normal internet and that means no VLAN tags attached. Now, when a port is tagged, it's different. That means the device can read those VLAN labels and separate traffic on its own. You will usually tag ports connected to PFSense, other switches or servers like Proxmox. Here's a quick example. My Proxmox server can't read tagged traffic by itself, so it needs one untagged VLAN for its management interface. But the virtual machines inside it can handle VLAN tags, so that same port carries untagged traffic for Proxmox and tagged traffic for the VMs. Lastly, we have not member, and that's simply no connection. If a VLAN doesn't need to use that port, it stays out. Now, when a port is untagged, you also also give it a PVID. That's how the switch knows which VLAN to assign untagged packets. So for example, if port 4 is untagged in VLAN 20, you set its PVID to 20. And that's it guys, I hope this helps. Bye bye!